diabetes and cataracts. Hey, we talked about that recently. If a patient has uncontrolled diabetes and diabetic cataracts, do you need to code both the uncontrolled diabetes and diabetic cataract or just the diabetic cataract? You guys need to know the disease process in this again. My <laughs> word, I'm telling you, but I happen to know that, well, I'm pretty sure, Skylar, do you know this off the top of your head? Because this is something that is um, uh, done again and again and again. This is, this, this is something that gets screwed up a lot, not coded properly. Right, and so the important thing to understand with this is that you need to make sure that you're not, uh, that you do code, if there is a specific code for uncontrolled diabetes. Um, uncontrolled in this, um, you, re you really need to query the provider for uncontrolled diabetes because there is not a direct thing. When you go to the, the index. Not like there was um, a couple years ago or in, in ICD-9. Yeah, right. right. Correct. Yeah. So when you say, um, diabetes and you go to uncontrolled or something like that, it, it refers to as a hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. So if it's hyperglycemia, it's 1165 or E1165, and then you, you have your diabetic cataract code, if it's type 2, and which is, I think, uh, E1136 or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. So you need, to, you need to query the provider because uncontrolled diabetes cannot be coded and assume that it, it correlates to E1165. Um, so you, you have to query the provider in this instance. Now, look at it from a risk adjustment aspect, too, okay? Um, uh, the, uh, I know that um, diabetic cataracts, uh, that is a chronic condition, and it's going to risk adjust at an 18, whereas I'm not sure, but I think diabetic hyperglycemia might risk adjust at a 17 if it, it it's either it, I don't think it's a 19 I think it's either an 18 or a 17 which means that you need to collect both of those if it's something you're doing for risk adjustment now I can't remember if um, the uncontrolled or the hyper hy hypoglycemia is a 17 because that's for acute conditions um, and it may be still classified as an 18 for you know, but but that's something that that is an additional reason for statistical purposes, uh, so that we get paid properly, uh, that you would want to be able to differentiate. And this is not the only scenario that that would happen in. There's some other things, especially when you have heart conditions and and things where you want to get to a higher specificity. So. Um, Again, like he said, and then make sure it's in your compliance notebook that, hey, we understand this and this is the policy that we have when this scenario happens. Do you need more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.